There's one little ticket in here that's really gonna make that a game changer for us. Club interaction for a foot in the ground. We got all that interaction happening in the turf. Right? Trust it, hit it. There we go. What's happening, guys? So here we are, coach match back, talking downhill lies, right? We just covered uphill lies, it's heating up, busted the pullover off. We're rocking and rolling, giving you great content, right? So here we're gonna talk about the downhill lie and the keys to it. You probably have some ideas in your head, you're probably right, maybe you're wrong, who knows? We'll find out if you're smart or not. Anyways, subscribe and like to the channel. Let me know what you wanna see. Keep giving you some awesome content, right? Beautiful day out here in the golf course in September, loving it, right? So let's talk about what we're gonna do in these downhill lies. Plus we got two more videos coming up talking about ball below your feet and ball above your feet with side hill lies. Don't stay tuned for those, right? Stay, stay awake, stay ready, they're coming, right? Let's get to work. All right, boys and girls, so here we are. Downhill lie, sloping this way, right? So just like you would probably imagine if you fell in the smart category or the not smart category, you got three things that are completely opposite to the uphill here, right? Uphill lie, added loft, can't transfer weight as much to the left side, and probably a good idea to take a three-quarter swing, right? So two, that one stays the same. We still want a three-quarter shot. In this scenario, we're going to move the ball forward in our stance, match our shoulders to the slope, and there's one little ticket in here that's really going to make that a game changer for us when we try to hit this shot, right? So here we go, we got ourselves a lie on a downhill slope. Now we're a little bit closer in this scenario. It's 105 instead of 120, because we're on the other side of the hill, right? So I got gap wedge in my hand. Looking for a club with a little more loft, right? This would be about a sand wedge shot if I was hitting it on the golf course. But, you know, trying to stay in control, hit my three quarter swing, I'm gonna put a gap wedge at it. Still has a plenty of loft to get airborne and hold it. Now, one last nugget, right? Remember how the uphill lie, ball shot right. I'm gonna aim a little left in anticipation of, or sorry, I'm gonna aim a little right in anticipation of the left. So ball's forward. That's also gonna make the ball wanna start a little more left, right? Aim a little right, three quarter swing, shoulders match the slope. Oh, I still got a little left on me. I kinda made a bad move at that one. But, good result, still about, eh, I don't know, 12, 15 feet. So. The magic ticket to make this shot work, right? This club interacted for a foot in the ground. We got all that interaction happening in the turf, right? So I tell my players is you wanna swing through the shot, follow the slope, go down with the slope. Most people, when we hit these uphill shots, you can kinda of get away with the uphill ones if you try to pick it off there clean. You can get away with that on an uphill shot. Cannot do that on a downhill lie, right? Getting on these slopes, you hit that ground early in that scenario, right? We wanna get that ball, chase it down that down that hill, through that grass, hitting our shot, right? So right now I got a good little left bias here on that last shot. I'm gonna really make sure my aim's good on this one. Get set, ball's a little more forward than normal. Still that three quarter move, trust it, hit it. There we go. I don't know if it's enough. Get a little kick forward, a little bit, not enough. But at least we got to the other side of the pin, right? So, Coach Mass two for two in greens and regulation. In this video, two for two in the uphill lie. That is what's important. You put a wedge in your hand, get it on the green. I know I've missed some videos in the past. I beat myself up for it, right? It happens. Practice, get better, work on it. Learn from those mistakes. Learn from why the ball react the way it did, and then adjust. You get on these goofy lies, right? And we're gonna cover ball below your feet, ball above your feet here in a minute. You get in these goofy scenarios with these goofy lies, you have to learn how the ball reacts off the face with your swing and then make the adjustments, right? Stuff I'm giving you here is giving you a better chance of success. But if you're an over the top golfer, this downhill lie is gonna be a lot easier than trying to go up the hill. If you're more inside out, that up the hill shot's gonna be a heck of a lot easier than coming down the slope, right? So you have to practice it, right? Don't be afraid to practice it. So. Got four balls on the green last two videos. Let's keep it up for the next two as we covered ball below your feet, ball uh, above your feet, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.